Poland, you have How much time if I you have uh, four, four four minutes minute. and over four Thanks. minutes. Okay. Oh, don't tell me that. <laughs> <laughs> I might use it. Um, thanks to Senator Black for sharing and to thanks to Senator uh, McDowell and indeed to everybody for a very uh, decent and helpful um, debate to start this. First thing I just want to say is I, I think because of the referendum, because of 100,000 reports in the past and all the rest of it, this does need to at least go to committee stage and move on and we start teasing out the tension between various points and, and, and ideas that people have and worries that there are that there are about this. Um, I think there is certainly a tension in relation to the members of the local authorities and uh, similar to the same as, as, as Senator Francis has just said that um, I really had my eyes open to going around and talking to councillors, certainly in the area of disability, the work they were doing, the effort they were putting in for neighbours and people in their community to start out a stair lift to try and get kids back into school, doing all sorts of things above and beyond. We have, to find an, it, it, we have to find some mechanism to be able to help councillors to be more effective and efficient because their heart is good and their interest is good and they are real people on the ground. I kept getting asked, uh, down in my native Tipperary, people would particularly say to me, John, how do I vote for you? Do I have a vote? And I say no. There's 40 people at Tipperary County Council and there's five, uh, there was six then uh, members of, of the Oireachtas and a couple of senators. And I said, that's it, 160,000 people in the county and there's a couple of dozen. And there is something wrong with that, even in Tipperary. There is something wrong with the idea that in this day and age, you could be running in an election. And I sat in a cafe down in the Midlands one day between going to one county council and another, which was in Port Leash. And I'm sitting down there and there's people coming in with their kids and they're doing whatever and going again. And saying, I'm involved in a secret election almost. It's under the radar. And we had just had a high-profile election to the other house. And somehow this one doesn't rate somehow. I think that's an issue. Look, a lot of people think I, I first sat in this house on the 8th of June this year. Well, that is true. But I sat in probably that seat there at that one in June 2003 when the Disability Federation of Ireland presented its uh, submission to the last review group. Uh, on this issue. And all I'll say about that now is that disability organisations have been the backbone of the nominating bodies on the admin panel. There's no reason for that. The fact is they have been. But there hasn't been. Where could you have seen a concerted voice or heard a concerted voice or voices around that issue that is directly from that movement or directly from other civil society movements? And let me mention something that I think is a little irony. There was often a lot of uh, criticism of past governments that they did deeds outside the gates with social partners. I was involved in social partnership as the disability interest in, this, in the community and voluntary pillar. There were 17 organisations in it and we managed to keep it some way coherent. So things are possible. If you, at that time, before the environment pillar was brought in, just before the, the things collapsed here, you had farmers, you had employers, you had trade unions, you had the social services sector. Is that not four of the five uh, panels that we have here? So you had people in here saying government is going out there and doing deeds on the outside that nobody knows about, and you had a house here that was designed to have characters with some knowledge and experience directly in here, sitting down in committees, sitting down here and working through stuff and being able to say to directly elected politicians, that's fine Tim, but let me tell you how things sometimes work in practice and then people can actually tear through the thing. You get better legislation and you will get better follow-up, you will get better uh, prosecution of what happens after legislation is passed. Um, finally, I will say, the, coming back to the, the, the uh, members of the local authorities, I think there may be issues, I, I'm pretty sure there are <coughs> issues in relation to their role that might need to be sorted out independently but in parallel with what we want to do here. We shouldn't be trying to stuff. If it doesn't fit, don't try and make it fit. I think there is 
really useful work to do. We have now a massive civil society across all the domains. It really didn't exist to any extent in 1937. It does exist now, it's diverse, and we are idiots if we don't find ways to bring that directly into these houses. That is the big value for money thing that we can do for our country. Thank you very much.